how can people learn to give people space to be themselves and draw that out of them during like a portrait session? That's a great question. Like I said, I think it begins long before the shoot, the portrait session. You have to have that connection, develop that trust and respect. But something important is knowing that when you're actually showing up the day of the shoot, the couple you're working with hopefully already has chemistry and intimacy, but you have no idea what situation they're coming from. They may have had a really bad day at work. They may have had a conflict with a family member. They may just not be feeling it. They may be intimidated by all of your gear. And so give your, your couple space to co-regulate. And co-regulation is something you do in therapy if you're going to couples therapy or family therapy. And a really easy way to do this with your couples is to have them just face each other, hold each other however feels natural, look each other in the eyes and try to match each other's breathing. I always prompt my couples to do this at the beginning of the session, um, to just look at each other, to try to match each other's breathing. It's a really great opportunity for me to gauge kind of where they are at emotionally. If they're getting all squirmish and uncomfortable, then I know, okay, something's off and we need to like help them calm down. Um, it gives them time to kind of connect. And then it also gives you kind of a moment to like adjust your gear, like back off and see how um, close or far away they feel comfortable with you being because sometimes couples like if you're like 20 feet back they're totally okay doing this co-regulation but you start getting closer as they get more and more intimate and they start getting squirmish um so that's a really great way to, to help your cu couple feel comfortable but also help you kind of gauge you know what is the level of experience and comfort here with you and the couple like i can tell in looking at your work when jay was like yeah we're gonna have jessica on I was like, she's a great listener. Like, and, and I, you just said it, like you're listening by just um, physical cues, right? Like how is someone feeling comfortable? And I think a lot of times, like it's hard for us filmmakers to, to listen because we're so caught up in light gear, like the whole production side that it's like hard to just really pay attention. And I, I think that's really, when you get comfortable with just knowing your stuff, is that you can get over that and kind of forget about it and just have it be a part of your body, a part of your just natural like function. Um, I think you can really hone in on that and, yeah. and be like, hey, what is actually going on? What, this is the most important part. Like it's not necessarily all this like tech. It's what am I actually getting on camera and, and just making minute kind of changes to affect that. I think that's huge.